The Moderna vaccine, the latest authorized for use here in the U.S., started moving just moments ago. It will go from freezers to boxes and into trucks. Then it's on to airports for the trip to dozens of sites across the U.S. 5.9 million doses to start. This after a week that saw about 272,000 Americans roll up their sleeves for the Pfizer vaccine. However, new cases are far outpacing vaccinations. Here in the U.S., they are moving toward 18 million. Deaths, meanwhile, have surpassed 316,000 in California, which seems to be getting the worst of it now. Dr. Anthony Fauci says some areas of the state are on the cusp of becoming overrun. And according to a Health and Human Services memo obtained by ABC News, in nearly a third of the country, ICU beds are now more than 80% full. But we start with the encouraging news on the vaccine rollout. ABC's Gio Benitez is at the distribution facility in Olive Branch, Mississippi. This is just outside Memphis. Gio, another critical day. Oh, absolutely, Whit. Critical indeed. Take a look behind me because you can see those FedEx trucks pulled up to those loading docks. They are getting ready to ship those vaccines as the nation desperately awaits them. This morning, pharmaceutical distributor McKesson is preparing the Moderna vaccine for cross-country shipping. These images just in from inside the McKesson Distribution Center, the gear room where teams suit up with cold weather gear, going into those freezers where the vaccines are kept at negative four degrees. They're packed and then loaded onto these trucks. FedEx, headquartered just over the border in Memphis, picks them up here in Mississippi. UPS picking the vaccines up in Louisville before getting them on planes for those critical cargo flights. This week, in total, between Pfizer and Moderna, we have allocated 7.9 million doses of vaccine, and we are ready for that distribution. Still this morning, some states are concerned over allocation of the vaccine. General Perna of Operation Warp Speed taking full responsibility. I want to make sure that we are 100% committed to fair and equitable distribution to everybody in the United States of America. Perna saying the country is on track to shipping 20 million doses by the end of the month. Saturday afternoon, a CDC advisory committee voting 11 to 0 to recommend the Moderna vaccine for people 18 and up. Still, a small number of healthcare workers in Alaska and Illinois have reported allergic reactions after getting the Pfizer vaccine. The Illinois hospital temporarily pausing vaccinations Friday and Saturday, but will resume today. The CDC, which is monitoring the reports, issuing guidance for how people with histories of allergies should move forward, saying anyone who had a severe reaction to a COVID-19 vaccine should not get the second dose. I think it's important for the public to understand that, that these still are very rare events that we are following them we know how to deal with these events and we're taking measures to monitor for them both at the time of injection and around that period of time and long term and let's go ahead and take you back live inside that distribution center. You can see that right there. So many people working so hard. They are using a massive 15,000 square foot freezer right there. 35 packing stations inside that freezer. Just a monumental effort underway right here in Mississippi. That's for sure. Need all the hope we can get. Gio Benitez for us. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.